which is a cons leech. It's a great little articulated streamer pattern, fun for still water and good for rivers as well. Um, I'm going to be starting here. I, I've got my Rivers Wild uh, trailer hitch system here for articulation. And I'm just going to start by putting the bead on the front half just to get this out of the way here. But essentially what I'm going to do here is I take this 3.5 slotted tungsten bead. You can also use a 4 millimeter slotted tungsten bead on these. Um, I'm going to put this onto the shank portion of the uh, trailer hitch here. I'm just going to slip that bead on here. And I'm just going to push that bead so it comes up into the into the groove there. So if you just take your whip finisher and kind of just create a little separation there in that hitch portion, it'll slide right on just like that. So I just need a little bit of a gap, a little file or anything will work. You need something to wedge into that little shank portion there, that attachment. Um, it'll lift that and that bead will slip right on. Okay, then we're ready to start tying our fly here. So I'm gonna put the hook portion of the trailer hitch in. We'll tie the back half of the fly first. Okay, so I'm just gonna start my thread. I just lay a base layer here, just along the hook shank. This is just a Uni 6 op black thread that you got in your box. I'm gonna wrap back to my tie-in point, which is gonna be right above the barb of the hook. So we're gonna leave my thread hanging. So we're gonna tie in our tail first. And because this is a, a leech pattern, um, kind of the way that I fish them anyways, I don't worry about having a really like fine piece of marabou here, just like the blood quill stuff um, for the tail, but I don't use the whole tail. So I've just plucked off a little piece here. I'm actually gonna strip some of this off of the stem and just use those parts right there. I kind of want that tail to be long and flowing and, and thin, so it really moves in the in the water, in the still water. And so I'll measure that to be about double the length of the hook shank. So I'll come back here and tie that in. A couple of good tight wraps. And then I'll cut off the excess here. Just cover up those butt ends. This will all get dubbing over the top of it. Okay, so it's a nice long flowing tail. You can shorten that up obviously for if you um, like just a shorter tail or use a full piece of marabou, that's totally fine too. Kind of just depends on your preference and how you're going to fish it and where you're going to fish it. So now I'm going to take my hackle here. This is just black saddle hackle. And I've just prepared the stem there. I've stripped off the first little set of barbs on this stem. I'm going to tie that in right to the side of the hook shank. Okay, so now we're ready to build our body. So in the box, um, as a subscriber, you're, you would have got four different colors for the body. Um, two dubbing colors and two chenille colors. And the chenille color is basically just like a woolly bugger. You're going to tie your hackle in just like we did here. Tie your chenille in, wrap your chenille forward, wrap your hackle forward. Same idea as a woolly bugger. With the dubbing, let me show you how to do the dubbing uh, technique here. For this fly i really like the movement of the dubbing in these cons leeches so this is just arizona diamond dub in blood leech and i'm just going to take a pinch of that i'm going to hold it in my fingers right here up against the thread and then come with my thumb and just roll that on it doesn't have to be super tight because we're going to brush this out i just want to make sure it's going to cover um, all this messy stuff back here with the marabou and my thread wraps so i'm going to start turning that up the hook shank another pinch here and again I just press that against the back side of my thread and just roll always roll one direction with your dubbing don't ever roll back and forth it'll end up kind of just slipping off of your thread I'm just gonna work this up to the eye and just kind of pull everything back there give me a place to do a whip finish and the w or the hackle just adds a little bit of more movement to the fly, pushes some water because these are a little stiffer than your strung hackle feathers for like woolly buggers and bigger streamers. I'll just bring that to right behind the eye here. We'll wrap that, tie it down. 
anchor it really good. A few good wraps. And just come in carefully with your scissors and trim that out. Now you could use wire here. I've, I've never had an issue brushing the dubbing out and having that hackle like slip out or break. Um, and the wire just makes it so it traps that dubbing down even more. So I just like to just do that with the hackle. Um, and then I just take my Velcro brush here and just kind of start picking out. Notice I haven't whip finished yet. Um, I just want to keep that there in case I need to add any dubbing up at the front of the fly. Um, in this instance, I don't think I'm going to need to, but I just like to make sure there's no dead spots there. So I'm just going to brush that dubbing out. And then I can whip finish. So we're going to take the front portion of the trailer hitch. I like to keep that bump on the hitch portion down, facing down towards my desk. And I'll just pop that up and through the eye of the hook. Slip this back. That bump gives a nice place for your vise to grab. And then we'll start tying the front half now. Same idea here. I'm just going to close this hitch up. You could add glue to this if you wanted to. Trailer hitch is nice and strong. It's not going to be bending or pulling apart anyways, but a little glue never hurts. But So I'm going to take a little pinch of the diamond dub here. And I just kind of pull it apart, preen it apart, kind of get it all the same length. And then I'm going to just kind of fold it and just kind of make it um, kind of bind it up so it's a little tighter and then I'm just going to place that against the near side of the hook bring that up and over tie it down and then I bring the other the front piece here I'm going to fold it over to the far side of the hook so it just kind of covers up that hitch a little bit better and then I'm going to take another piece of marabou this just really makes this fly really flow good, got good movement all throughout the body of it, and it really moves good in the water. So I'm going to take a shorter piece of marabou here and just kind of place it here just in the midsection of the fly, and I kind of spread it around the hitch, do a loose gathering wrap up and around, and then pull tight. It just kind of spreads those marabou fibers, feathers around. And then again, I'm just going to cover up these butt ends. Okay, then I'm just going to repeat the steps again. I'm going to take the black hackle, strip some of the barbs off the stem, tie that to the side of the hook, and now we're just going to repeat and just do some dubbing. Okay, so I'm gonna get up here behind my bead. A couple wraps of thread right behind the bead there. I'm gonna probably end up filling in some more dubbing here. So I like to bring my hackle through the dubbing again, just like we did on the back half. I just space those out just nice and even. Don't want them too close together. And then I'm gonna get right here behind my bead, do a turn, bring your thread up and over cut out your excess okay so I'm just gonna pull those feather fibers back get those barbs back and you know so I create a little bit of a dead space there a little thread collar and just me personally I like to cover those up so I'm just gonna take a small pinch of dubbing here and add just right here behind my bead Okay, and then again, before I whip finish, I'm going to brush. And this will just, if there's any more dead spots behind the bead, I'll add more dubbing if I need to. But I just like to brush this all, this dubbing out now. And there we go. I don't think I need to add any more. So I can go ahead and whip finish. And that is your Cons Leech. Awesome little articulated bugger style fly. And if you are a stillwater fisherman, you're gonna love this fly, but this is a great fly also on rivers. Just a smaller streamer style 
fly here. You can see the movement it's going to get with that semi or with the diamond dub, and with the with the marabou in there. So and then the articulation it it just moves. It bounces really good in the water. So there it is. Great little fly for you. Hope you enjoy it. Let us know how to do with it.